Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some real life electrical work. Install an EMT or electrical metallic tubing for some. Using 3 quarter inch connectors, straps, and running some clean pipe work with 90s and kicks. Now if you ever wondered how to keep your conduit runs looking sharp and professional, well take a look at how I do it. Let's kick it off with these 3 quarter inch connectors. Here's my process. I start by placing the lock ring at the bottom of the box, then I bring my connector and spin it from the very top until it gets about a quarter turn engaged. I'm a big believer in tightening as I go, so I'll spin it while I'm tightening gently, and the last little quarter turn really cinches it down. It's the difference between a solid connection and loose ones that might wiggle later. And just a quick note here, make sure you don't over tighten these. You don't want to damage the threads or the box. It's about that feel, tight enough to hold, but not so tight you'll strip anything. This whole part of the install is something that if you're not careful could take forever. So this is why in the video I speed things up. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here for a good 2-3 hours just watching me thread connectors one by one. Alright, so moving on, let's talk about getting the pipe up on the wall. Once my connectors are in, I start running my pipe upwards. This is crucial. I level each pipe as I go, don't skip that step. You're gonna wanna use a one hole 3 quarter inch strap with a self tapper on a spreader bracket. And here's how I like to tackle it. I always start with the bottom strap first. That anchors the pipe and keeps it from shifting around. Then I bring my lift up so I can get the top. Once I'm up there, I level it again, make my adjustments, then secure it with another one hole strap at the top. Then before I move on, I come back down and check the level one last time. I've learned the hard way, even the tiniest tilt at the bottom can turn into a big problem at the top. And it might sound like overkill to keep checking, but that's what separates clean installs from sloppy ones. If you're gonna do electrical work, do it right. Take pride in those details. Now let's talk about the bins. This run we're working on has some 90s with some kicks in it. So what I like to do is lay out the measurements on the ground before I even touch the bender. I measure the exact distance from my 90s, figure out how long my kicks need to be, and mark everything clearly. Here's a little tip for anyone starting out. When you're marking your pipe, always double check your measurements. Use a pencil. Write them down if you want to. It's way faster to spend an extra minute checking your math instead of redoing a bend because if an inch too short. So now I start bending the 90s. I do them all first instead of doing one at a time. It's just more efficient that way. You get into the rhythm and it saves you triple back and forth to your bender. Another key thing, pay attention to which direction your kick is going. Don't ask me how I know this, but bending kicks the wrong way will have you talking to yourself all day. So always visualize your pipes going and double check your orientation before that first bend. Once all my bends are done, I load everything up in the lift and start installing the pipes one piece at a time. And this is honestly my favorite part of the job, seeing all your work coming together when those bends line up perfectly, there's no better feeling than that. Now let's talk about the straight runs. These are pretty much straightforward. Here's how I like to keep my spacing perfect. I put my level as a space between each pipe. I just hold the level horizontally, measure the gap, repeat it all the way down the run. That keeps it look uniform and professional. And I'll say this, good electrical work is about craftsmanship. Sure you can slap this stuff up and call it a day, and some people say I can't see it from my house, but when you take your time, check your levels, and make sure your bins are perfect, you're building a reputation. People notice, contractors, inspectors, even homeowners, and that's how you get called back at the next job. I also want to talk about safety for a second. When you're working with metal conduit, tools, lifts, it's easy to get comfortable and skip steps, but don't. Wear your gloves, make sure you have full PPE, and those cut edges are sharp. Always watch your fingers around the benders. Keep your workspace clear so you're not tripping over material. And if you're working with heights, like on a lift, and if you're not experienced like me, and you're working on a lift, clip in your harness. Even if it's just a quick adjustment. It takes two seconds and can save your life. Look, we all want to finish jobs fast and move on to the next one. But don't let speed cost your health and your craftsmanship. It's better to take an extra minute and do it right than to spend hours redoing it. Or worse, end up in the hospital. I have to go retrieve somebody's finger now. I dropped off the guy at the emergency room. Now I gotta go find his finger. The guy cut his whole entire finger right off his hand. Uh, comes up to me and says, can you please help me, help me? And shows me a whole missing finger, like literally a missing finger. So I brought him here to the hospital. Thank God we're right across, we're real, real close, but just everybody in construction, take it easy out there, man. You don't always have to work as fast as you want, as you can. You don't always have to be um, unsafe. 
be safe. Remember, we have to go home. We have to go back to our families and in one piece. So that's how I run my connectors, install my EMT, make my bins, and keep everything level and spaced out perfectly. This might look simple, but every part matters from connectors all the way up to the final step. Electrical work is a craft. It's about skill, precision, always learning. Every job teaches you something new. And that's why I love this trade. If you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new, or just like watching clean electrical work, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more coming from bending tricks to panel work or real world job site installs. And hey, drop a comment below. Tell me how you like to install your EMT or if you got any bending horror stories, I love to hear them. Until the next time, stay safe, keep learning, and remember, the work you leave behind is your signature. Make it count. I also want to add something to the end of the video. If you need help with any electrical, you can always call me. Leave a comment down below, and I'll leave my Google Voice number in the comments. And I actually helped somebody yesterday with a light fixture, and he was pretty excited that I called him, and we got it fixed. Have a great day, guys.